Hello everyone and welcome to On the Couch. I'm Benny Pinal along with my co-host Maria Brasco. Thanks Benny. On today's show we will discuss many serious topics. But before we start we would like to remind the viewers that if they are or know a victim of sexual abuse to call the National Sexual Assault Hotline at 1-800-656-4673. Report any sexual assault to the authorities. Also, any viewer that is a witness of oppressive behavior on campus to report it to a faculty or staff member at Rowan University. And finally, depression and suicide is no laughing matter. If you know anyone or any student that has suicidal behavior, call the National Suicide Prevention Line at 1-800-272-TALK. Every 21 hours, a rape will occur on a college campus in America, with one in four victims being college women. Survivors of rape or sexual assault are four times more likely to be victimized by someone they know than by a stranger. Partnering with Healthy Campus Initiatives and Rowan PRSSA Take Back the Night looks to raise awareness of sexual assault around campus. And here to discuss the event is Amy, who is the Assistant Director of Healthy Initiatives. Hi, Amy. Hi, uh, my name is Allie Pierce. I'm the Assistant Director of Healthy Campus Initiatives. Um, so thank you so much for inviting me to be here today. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about Take Back the Night. Mm -hmm. Um, that is our annual event that is going to take place on April 7th this year. Um, it's a Tuesday evening. It begins at 6.30. Um, we've got lots of activities that are going on during it. Um, our theme this year is Stand, Speak, and Empower. Um, and we're asking students, faculty, staff, the Roman community, um, how do they, um, what's their role in preventing sexual violence? This is everybody's responsibility. Now, last year uh, during the event, Dr. Ali Hoshmand, uh, last spring, uh, made a quote during a meeting that said, I will not tolerate sexual assault on campus. Um, with every case, I see my own child, and I will not tolerate anyone hurting my own child, male or female. What was your reaction when Dr. Hoshmand said that? Dr. Hoshmand spoke very strongly, and you know, we believe him, and, and he is a strong advocate you know, for sexual assault prevention and investigation um, to find out what happens in these matters. You know, he. Um, he st spoke strongly and stand behind his words. Now, statistics show that a lot of kids get victimized or sexual assaults. What do you say to somebody who this has happened to on campus if they're scared to go to somebody about it? First of all, it's not the victim's fault, you know, no matter what. Um, you know, there are people on campus who students can go to to be completely confidential. Those are only the counselors in the counseling center and the nurses and doctors in the wellness center where it can be kept completely confidential if they choose to. Anyone else on campus is someone who um, has to make a report. You know, and what that means is that we look in to find out what happened and what the appropriate um, action is after that. Um, it doesn't mean that it's public information by any stretch. Um, and it is kept um, confidential within the people who need to know for an investigative purpose. Um, so there are lots of options for students. Now you said that the event started in 2011. And mm -hmm. uh, what's kind of been uh, the result of the event and how has it grown uh, since then? Sure, you know, um, so Healthy Campus began in 2011, um, mm -hmm. and that was when we began um, partnering with, the, with this event. Um, and it's grown exponentially, you know, we've had a great um, support from the Greek community. Um, we've had a great support from SGA. Um, last year it was wonderful that um, a lot of student organizations got involved um, and did activities with us during the event. Um, Last year, the theme was, you know, how can you support survivors? So each um, student organization that participated had um, that as their theme to, um, to share information with their peers. Um, this year, we're going with Stand, Speak, and Power as our theme. So it's really gotten a lot of traction, um, a lot of notoriety, and a lot more of awareness of the fact that sexual violence is a problem on college campuses. Now, do you see... Um more guys or more girls coming out or coming to your, your office to talk about it or is it mostly with women? What is the stereotype with that? There are a lot of women who speak about it but what's really been encouraging to me is that we have been seeing more men. Um, you know more men come out to speak and support, um, more men to stand with you know other people who have been assaulted, other people who um, feel that this is not an okay thing on our campus um, and that's been really encouraging to see that it has been kind of both men and women um, who want to make a difference. Yeah so what if like my friend told me they were sexually assaulted just hypothetically Am I obligated to tell somebody? What would you say to somebody if they're in that situation that like they come home from like a crazy night and they are saying, oh my gosh, guess what happened? I'm not sure. I don't know if it's my fault. I don't know what happened. What would you say to somebody if they're listening to that? Like what, what could they say to their friend? Yeah, so they could say to the friend, again, it's, it's not your fault. Um, 
and su suggest ways to get help if they want to. You know, if it's immediately, do you want to go to the emergency room? Do you want to make a report to public safety or to the police? Do you want to call the on-call counselor? Um, there's a Rowan counselor on call 24 seven. If you call public safety's phone number 856-256-4911 and ask to speak to the counselor on call. Um, if it's three in the morning or three in the afternoon, they're gonna get you to somebody. Um, being supportive is, is incredibly crucial in that role and, believe, and believing your friend. Now, last year in partnering, in partnering with PAC-5, uh, our RTN's very own Deanna Lugo mm -hmm. made a, a film uh, called Fives for Guys, Girls for Free. Or girls free. Uh, what was what's what's been the reaction to that? Because it was posted to the Pac-5 website and obviously it went around nationwide. So what was kind of the reaction and result of that of that film? Pac-5 has done a great job of raising awareness mm -hmm. on um, sexual assault on college campuses um, and things that we don't always necessarily think of as a problem. Um, and they've done a great job of saying, you know, that this is this is an issue. Um, last year, we did have a small press conference um, where Dr. Hushman spoke, um, Dr. Eckhart spoke. Um, it was covered by local media, um, it was covered by NBC News. Um, so it has gotten a lot of notoriety, um, and it's been a great thing to raise awareness. Now this is your uh, flyer you guys sent out. You want to tell us a little mm -hmm. bit about that? Sure. So um, we partner with CERV, which is a group called Services Empowering the Rights of Victims. Um, and they work um, in the Tri-County area, um, and they were kind enough to design this flyer for us. Um, so it's showing the different things that are going to be taking uh, place that night. Um, April 7th, 2015, again, it's going to be in the Student Center patio. Um, in the event that it rains, it would be inside in the pit. Um, the Clothesline Project is where students can decorate a blank t-shirt with a message of empowerment for a survivor. Um, and we're going to be hanging them up around the pit for the remainder of the week. Um, we have a speaker series um, at, that begins around 7 o'clock, um, and it's very brief spe um, speeches or words from some of us on the Sexual Violence Task Force, uh, Sexual Violence Prevention Task Force, welcoming students to the event, saying what um, resources are, and then it's you know open mic for students um, to come up and say um, that whatever they feel is what they want to say in that moment. Um, you know, following that, we do a walk through campus. Um, one of the things that was interesting too, um, starting last year, is that we asked the student group organizations to um, consider donating a basket, um, which is raffled off at the end of the evening. Um, so that gives us a couple different things um, that we can do. So one, it allows us to close the event um, when everyone comes back from the walk. Um, and it gives each organization the opportunity to um, to put items in it that speaks to what their connection is to the issue of sexual violence, like why does their particular organization want to be involved. Um, we had a, a sports club team who put a lot of things related to their team in it, and they're like, you know, we don't want anyone on our team to get hurt because we want you out here with us, mm -hmm. um, which was a really cool message to see. Yeah. Once again, you said the event is April 7th. Uh, if, someone, if one student wanted to get involved with the event or uh, even be a speaker, how could they uh, get in touch uh, with the group and uh, get involved? Sure, so we have, um, we've already had one interest meeting and we'll mm -hmm. be having another one on March 11th at five o'clock in the Wellness Center training room. Um, if one can't attend that meeting or wants to get involved prior to that, um, you're welcome to email me. Um, uh, the email address for Healthy Campus is hci at rowan.edu. That goes to me. Okay. Allie, once again, thank you uh, so very much for coming on. I know uh, sexual assault is a tough subject for a lot of people to talk about. Once again, if any uh, viewer right now uh, knows anyone that has been sexually assaulted, do call the sexual assault hotline once again at 1-800-656-4673. I'll be right back here on On the Couch after the break.